thanks for joining me. Um, and thank you for your continued support. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Um, when the video comment, please submit your recipes. Maybe something to do. Um, I'm super excited today because I get to talk about, um, I guess he's a fairly well-known mixer. His uh, ELR name and ATF name are Nevins, N-E-V-A-N-S. Um, I've been following this mixer since, like, I'm going to say last January. Okay, I, I had just gotten into the groove and figured things out and branched out from Wayne's recipes to uh, looking for profiles that suited my taste. Okay, and I was lucky enough to find Nick. Um, this, I guess, because I've been following this mixer so long, it's going to be super hard for me to just talk about one recipe, okay? Um, but, you know, the recipe I reviewed that is up for review here is Manchester tart. Now, I'm from the United States. I don't know what a Manchester tart is, so I had to look it up. Oh, there's a couple other things I should probably tell you. Um, I spend a lot of time hanging out in the chef's group. Okay, it's fun. It is always a good time. The people are helpful. Um, they really care about each other. Okay, um, so I spend a lot of time hanging out in in a British Facebook group. All right. So, you know, I hear about these foods often these these British foods and it's just like what is that you know and everybody's like oh you can get that in the United States well I'm here to tell you that in the St. Louis metro area it's not very easy to get a Manchester tart okay or a lot of the other things or or Welsh cakes okay I would I would love to know I would love to try a Welsh cake without having to commit to making one or to making them because I think they're small Anyway, so I had to look up what a Manchester tart was. It's a traditional English baked tart consisting of a short crust pastry shell spread with raspberry jam covered with a custard filling and topped with flakes of coconut and a maraschino cherry. A common variation, especially in Liverpool and Manchester itself, has a layer of thinly sliced bananas under the custard. Okay, so this is a, a custard that's spread with raspberry jam has bananas, coconut, and a cherry on top. All right, cool. Now I know what I'm trying to taste, okay? So that's fantastic. I, uh, I mixed up Nick's recipe on November the 11th. I mixed up Nick's recipe on November the 11th. Uh, it's been steeping quite a while. Now, um, let me show you what the recipe is and we'll talk about it. Um, Okay, so he's got 3% of F.A. apple pie, okay? So that's what he's using for his, his crust around his custard, okay? Um, he's got biscuit, so that's going to harden that up just a little bit. And then 2.35% uh, of F.A. cocoa, the coconut. Um, well, you know, that's pretty obviously the coconut on top. He used the, uh, he used the VT creamy custard here at two and a half. Now, in my experience, that, that custard has a banana note to it. So that's pretty well used here. And he used it with the custard premium at one and a half. And that's going to give you a thick, eggy custard with a light banana flavor to it. So I think that was, uh, those were wise choices that he made there on his custards. Also, they both steep pretty quickly. And I'm pretty sure the steep time on this 10 days Okay, and he can do that because he chose custards that work that way. Okay, now he uh, he used he used the cupcake or the Chef's Choice Devon Cream, which by the way is available at uh, chefsflavors.co.uk. Okay, we're going to talk a whole lot more about Chef's Flavors, but if you don't have if you don't have the Chef's Choice Devon Cream in your arsenal you need to get it and you need to get it now, okay? It's like this thick, rich cream. I, I don't know how to explain it to you, but it, it's 
it's thick and it's rich and it's caramely and it's vanilla -y. And it's just everything you could ever want in a, in a Dove and Cream, okay? So if you don't have that, you need to get it. Uh, and remember, chefs, okay? Chefsflavors.co.uk. All right, so for his raspberry, Nick has chosen the VT Raspberry Jam, which is, you know, that's a thick, sweet raspberry. It's jammy. And then he's, he's added to that backed it up and, and filled it out with the TPA Raspberry Sweet, which huge favorite of mine, okay? Huge favorite of mine. Uh, I love raspberry in a vape. I love, I didn't realize it un, until I, I was I was talking to Nick about this 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 recipe and how I felt about it. He goes, you, you really love your fruity bakeries, don't you? And you know what? I guess I do. So you learn something new about yourself every day. Okay, for me, this recipe is phenomenal. All right, I made up a 30 mil. That's what's left of it. I had to save it for the video. Um, I can't recommend it enough, okay? The, uh, usually in babes, I find banana to be completely overwhelming, okay? No matter how low it's used. And I just have to say how smart I think he was using that banana note in that creamy custard to get that thin layer of bananas that we read about earlier. Um, he's also got Zepola in here. Now, normally I am not the biggest fan of Zepola, okay? For me, the spiciness, of, uh, up until this recipe right here, the spiciness of, of that flavor was just too much for me, too much. But, but with the combination of the Zepola, I mean, 1%, you know, that's pretty normal. That's a pretty normal percent, okay? But it, the way it works with that Devon cream and those custards together, the, the spices aren't overwhelming to me. Um, you know, really, the way everything here blends together so well is just, it's great. I mean, this is right up my alley, that five out of five. I'm so impressed with this recipe. Okay, now, like I told you before, um, I, I don't feel the need to limit myself to just talking about one of Nick's recipes because I've, again, big fan. I think he's fantastic. I'm a big fan of the work he's doing. Um, now, he's also got this other recipe. It's called sconed, okay? <coughs> Pardon me. This is probably the best recipe I've tried in 2018, okay? It, it again, you know, it's a scone. I'm not eating too many scones in the St. Louis Metro, okay? So I, I don't really have real world knowledge of what it should taste like, but it is, what is it? it it's a, a strawberry, you know, it like a, a flaky scone or like a flaky, uh, you know, it's it's not it's crispy. There's crispiness to it, and there's a flakiness to it. Okay, but there's also some moisture and texture to that bakery part of it. Okay, um, and then it's got that the strawberry jam and the strawberry shisha on it. So, you know, it's present. The strawberry is present. It's not overdone. It's 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 not aggressive. It uh, it's very jammy very sweet okay and then he's got his he's got the the flavor west vanilla bean ice cream which i didn't know was awesome until this recipe and uh a little bit of cap vanilla custard in there uh quite a bit of whipped cream you know i can't recommend this enough now nick has a line of one shots at chefs okay and i guess it's kind of you know i said i was going to do new mixers and that kind of thing but you know what, it, not enough people know what a good job Nick's doing with this mix is. You know, I can't, I can't, I'm not gonna limit myself. I am going to review anything anyone lets me review, okay? So, it, you know, I, I wanna take a couple minutes here and I wanna talk about Nick's one shots. Um, now, I, I've, in the chef's group, they have a lot of contests and I've won some of Nick's one shots 
and I've mixed other ones. Um, you know, one thing that I think is really cool about about Nick as a, as a mixer is he releases the recipes. You know, he's not holding back the recipe so you can't make it. You know, it's like it's one shot. Here, I'm going to make this for you. You know, if you don't want to go to the trouble, that's cool. But if you do, here's my recipe. And I think that's fabulous because, you know, you get the one shot and you know how it should taste. If you want to try mixing on your own, you can. And so kudos to you for that, dude. That's, that's the way it ought to be. You know, that's the way it ought to be. So I thought that I would take a minute and tell you about the ones that I've tried. I haven't tried them all. I'm sorry. I apologize. But I've tried a lot of them. Uh, Butterface is really, really good stuff. It's, um, I don't know how to explain it, like a butterscotch custard caramel thing. Decca did. The honeycomb custard, which my stupid face is covering. Um, the honeycomb custard, pretty fantastic. That's, that's when I first became Nick's fan. I mixed that up like the day he released it and it was good. And dude, it was good off the shake. You know, in fact, I like it better fresh than I do steep. But, you know, that's that's all about you and what you like. But for myself, it was good off the shake. I enjoyed it, and bam, I had just conquered a custard. So I was stoked. Uh, scone, if you haven't tried it, do. It is out of this world good, okay? The Nice Blast, I don't care for cooling, so I have that but it's still s sitting on my shelf. I'm a little bit afraid. Um, it's okay though, you can be a wussy girl sometime. And I also have the straw melon slushy, but again, a little bit afraid to try it. So maybe next, maybe next summer we'll talk about that, okay? And then I want to click over and show you the awesomeness that is chefsflavors.co.uk. Um, I can't say enough about them, okay? I just can't say enough good things about them. The way that they, uh, you know, are are doing the one shots and helping new helping mixers get the word out, helping mixers get their recipes out, and you know they're just all around great people. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I love me some chefs. Okay, so rather than get all emotional though, I think we'll move right along. In the end. Um, in the end, you know, what I want to say is this is a great recipe. It's just an absolutely fantastic recipe. I can't recommend it enough. I can't recommend it enough. Um, any of Nick's, any, any of his recipes, I totally recommend them. I think they're fabulous. And I, I hope you'll, I hope you'll, you know, give them a shot. Um, thanks again for watching. Sorry I rambled so much this time, but you know, I, I just, I have a lot of experience mixing his mixes and I want to make sure that everyone gets a chance to try them. Also, I love chefs and it's not very often I get the opportunity to say, um, how great they are in public to like the whole world. Uh, so there's that. Um, if you want to submit a recipe for review, you can send it to me at recipes.hibitarray at gmail.com and I will get to as fast as I can. Um, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to pick it up, trying to pick up the pace, but uh, it's hard to find time. Um, I do have a lot of things mixed up though. I'm going to make a great effort to get you guys more videos. I will put links to, uh, Nick's recipe, the Manchester tart, which is fantastic. I will put a link to Nick's ELR and Nick's ATF in the description. I will put a link to Nick, the Nick and Mix one shots at Chefs in the description, and I will put a link to Chefs in the description. Um, thank you all very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.